Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn what is cumulative relative frequency, how do we calculate the cumulative relative frequency and what is the need of calculating or finding cumulative relative frequency. And we have seen the cumulative and relative frequency separately in a previous lecture as well. So I'll give the their link at the information um, in at the uh, uh, top of this video so that you can easily um, uh, refer to those videos as well. What is cumulative relative frequency? It is basically the collection or addition of previous relative frequencies together. We have seen the cumulative frequency in our previous lectures. That cumulative frequency is the addition of the previous frequencies together. But cumulative relative frequencies is the addition of previous, it's very important here, RF. That is previous relative frequencies, not the frequencies. Keep this in mind. So, for finding the cumulative relative frequencies, you should have the relative frequency. And for finding the relative frequency, you should have the frequency. So, all these are dependent on each other. So, this is the what of the cumulative relative frequency. Now, we will see how we can calculate the cumulative relative frequency. For finding the cumulative relative frequency, we must know how to, how to calculate it. So, let's move towards the table. So, for how we have to see this table. So, we have the four columns. First column is of score, second is of frequency, third is of relative frequency and the fourth is of cumulative relative frequency. So, for cumulative relative frequency, we must have the relative frequency. So, I have discussed in my previous lecture how to find the cumul uh, to, how to find the relative frequency. So, I am not going to discuss it again. So, I will write uh, just I will give the link at the top of this video and you just need to uh, check that for the relative frequency. So, here I am just writing the values of the relative frequency here that are dividing the frequency with the total frequency. So, the here the total frequency was 25 and each frequency we will divide with 25 to get the relative frequency. Then we have the cumulative relative frequency. Cumulative relative, relative frequency is the cum collection or the addition of the previous relative frequencies together. So, we will start with the bottom. In the bottom, we have the uh, relative frequency of 0 0.04. So, so we don't have any relative frequency before this. So, the cumulative relative frequency will also be 0 0.04. So, I'll write 0 0.04. So, then we move upwards. Then the second last row is the relative frequency of 0. So, what we have to do is we have to add the previous frequency with the current frequency or whatever the pre previous frequencies were. So, we have to add them together. So, what we will get is 0 0.04 because what we were adding was 0. So, that will remain the same. Then we move towards the level up. Now, we have to add all these frequencies together. So, what we will get is 0 0.20. Then we move for further upward. Again, we have to add all the frequencies below the given frequency as well as the frequency itself. Keep this in mind. So, we have to add all the four values together from the bottom. So, we will get 0.24. So, we again move to the upward and we have to add all these frequencies together. So, cumulative frequency will be the sum of all the frequencies below that frequency including the frequency itself. It will be equal to 0 0.52. 0 0.52. Then we move further upward. Again, we have to add all the frequencies that are below it. It will be 0 0.64. Then this one, it will be 0 0.84, 0 0.84, then this one will be 0 0.92 and finally we will have 1.00 that is by adding all the frequencies together and I have I have told you in the previous lecture that the sum of all the relative frequencies is equal to 1. So, that is why we get the 1 at the end. This is how you can calculate the cumulative relative frequency now if you are given with the relative frequencies. Now, what is the need of using the cumulative relative frequency? Let's see. So, when do, you, do we need to use the cumulative relative frequency? It's when you need to find what fraction of the class scored below u. It means what fraction of the class scored below a certain, below the students with a certain score or uh, below a, uh, a certain number of students. For example, let's take an example. If we take the, the score at, for example, the student who has a score of 7, or the students who are who are having a score of 7 want to ask what fraction of the uh, class scored below them then they can easily find by using the cumulative relative frequency it 
keep this in mind you have to find the fraction here this is the fraction this, this is not the number of students we are concerning here we are here what fraction or what proportion or what uh, you can say ratio of the students are uh, have have the score that lies below you then the student who have scored 7 will ask about this so we have to move one downward to the score below that that is 6 and then we have to look for the cumulative relative frequency so here the cumulative relative frequency is 0 0.52 so i'll write here 0 0.52 it means you can say half of the class half of the class as the total is 1 in the cumulative relative frequency so half here we have 0.52 so you can say half of the class scored below you below the student who have got up the score of 7 or the students uh, because as there are three students who have got the score of, of seven so approximately half of the class scored below them so this is the basic use of cumulative relative frequency where you need to find the fraction or proportion of the class scored below you so it will be helpful to find out fraction of the class that is scoring below you so that's all from today's lecture thank you